And we are going to start with our three degree guarantee. This was Friday for our Saturday forecasted high. The forecast was 90, we got up to 89 within those three degrees. So another $50. So the grand total for the month of August is $850 all going to Alpha Team Canine Search and Rescue. Want to get to Hurricane Dorian? It is stationary right now, about 100 miles east of West Palm Beach, Florida. It is a category four hurricane with 145 mile an hour winds already bringing tropical force winds, tropical storm force winds across the Florida coast. That is winds of at least 39 miles an hour and those outer bands already bringing rainfall as well. This storm will eventually start moving. Tomorrow we'll start to see that turn to the north. Then it will skirt by the Georgia coast as we head into Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday right off the South Carolina coast Thursday afternoon, very close to Charleston, South Carolina, and some models even have the storm clipping the outer banks of North Carolina. So not expected to make landfall over Florida or Georgia, but I am getting increasingly worried about South Carolina and North Carolina, although by the time it does make its way to the Carolinas, at least it will be slightly weaker as a category two hurricane. Rainfall totals will be impressive up to 20 inches over the open waters of the Atlantic, but we could see up to 10 to 15 inches in some isolated areas on the Florida coast, then skirting along the Carolinas. Charleston, very strong winds possible Thursday afternoon. Then the outer banks could get hit by Friday, so we'll be watching this one very closely as it makes its way up the eastern seaboard, dumping very heavy rain, more than 20 inches off the coast of Florida. Florida here in Georgia, seeing anywhere between two to six inches of rain. Then as you head into North Georgia, we're going to be nice and dry from this system, but certainly we are not out of the woods, especially when you look at the Atlantic. Meteorologist Ella Dorsey has more on that because we are going to be very busy this week. Yes, it is almost incredible when you see what is happening in the Atlantic, but it is timely. This is the peak of hurricane season. Take a look. Typically, we do see our hurricane season peak in the middle of September. So we're headed into the month of September over the next two weeks. That's when we see the most tropical activity and look at what's happening right now. There's a disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico has about a 60% chance of being coming a named storm in the next two days. It is headed away from the United States towards Mexico, so shouldn't affect us here. A system out in the Atlantic that the Bermuda Islands will have to watch 30% chance that this becomes a named storm in the next two days. The two I really want to focus on are near the African coast. One of them in the red. That's pretty likely 90% chance that becomes a named storm. It is likely to stay out at sea, but you see the orange below it. See the wave coming off of Western Africa, that big blob of red. That is very likely to become a named storm, and we will have to watch that by the end of this week into next week for potential impact on the islands that are being affected right now and on the United States. So Dorian may just be the start of a very active month of September for the tropics. Jennifer. Yeah, and I do definitely not what we want to hear, but we're watching closely. And of course, as these develop, we'll have more on them. But for now, we are watching Dorian, especially on the Georgia coast. But luckily here in North Georgia, we're far enough away from Dorian. We're not going to feel really any effects at all. Tonight will be gorgeous. 71 degrees with clear skies tomorrow up to 93 degrees with lots of sunshine and really hot and will stay hot. Coastal Georgia will see up to tropical storm force winds four to seven inches of rain Wednesday into Thursday. So that's when coastal Georgia will feel the effects of Dorian. You look at our weather Wednesday and Thursday, just sunny and hot and dry. Could see some showers by Sunday into Monday, but until then, enjoy the hot week ahead.